my name is Katherine Fecto. I'm the curator of exhibitions here at Old Sturbridge Village. Today we're filming in the Countryside Gallery where we have installed one portion of our exhibition, New England on Parade. This gallery takes a look at how parades were used to draw attention to social and political causes, and one of the causes that we highlight is temperance. So what is temperance? Well, in the 19th century, Americans drank a tremendous amount of alcohol. Some scholars have estimated that it's as much as three times what we consume today. And this posed a, a real concern for some people who saw alcohol consumption as a threat to social and moral good. And so in the early parts of the 19th century, you see um, folks starting to come together to form societies devoted to temperance or abstinence from drinking alcohol. They swore to drink no wine or distilled spirits except when prescribed by a doctor. Remember that we are still in the window of time where um, some types of alcohol were thought to have medicinal properties in small quantities and could be prescribed by a doctor. By 1834, New Englanders had formed an estimated 5,000 state and local temperance organizations. And in the exhibit, we have an account book from uh, the Fiskdale Division of the Sons of Temperance, which formed in 1848. So we do know that there were temperance organizations active in and around the Sturbridge area. Another portion of the exhibition highlights the connection between the temperance movement and the Old Oaken Bucket. In 1817, Samuel Woodworth wrote the poem, The Old Oaken Bucket, in which he reminisced about the bucket that hung in the well uh, in his childhood home and the cold, clear water that it dispensed. In 1826, the poem was set to music and became sort of a rallying song for temperance organizations who advocated drinking water instead of spirits. Ultimately, the Old Oaken Bucket was a very popular song in the 19th century overall, but particularly so with temperance reformers. In fact, in uh, parades put on by temperance groups, the Old Oaken Bucket became one of the staple floats. We have multiple representations in prints and publications and illustrations of these Old Oaken Bucket floats, so we know that they were quite common. There were temperance groups for children as well as adults, the thought process being that if you got children to commit to temperance early on, that would put you one step closer to eradicating the social ills of alcohol. In 1838, for example, the Reverend Thomas Hunt of Pennsylvania established the Cold Water Army, which was a temperance group specifically for children. At picnics and other festive events, young people committed to drinking water rather than alcohol and, quote, pledged eternal hate to all that could intoxicate. In the museum collection, we have a handful of ribbons that these children received in exchange for um, committing to, these, uh, to this cause, and they have various different slogans and symbols on them, um, all of which are symbols of the cause of temperance. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that you've learned a little bit more about the temperance movement, the Cold Water Army, and most importantly, the Old Oaken Bucket.